Hi. I'm just going to show you the repairs to the diff now, the diff mounting. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've repaired the crack in the cross member with a weld, which hopefully is penetrated. Certainly uh, looks quite a good weld. Um, I've repaired, I've attached the floor to the cross member with 10 spot welds. MIG welder, I uh, used MIG welder for this, uh, welded from the top and the bottom to make sure there's full penetration all the way through. There's one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I've uh, seam welded the cross member to the floor here, 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 and here. Now I've additionally um, attached the front diff mounting to the floor. It's it's uh, it's attached to the cross member anyway, and there's a spot rivet that goes all the way through from the floor to the um, top of the diff mounting. But in addition to that, I've welded here and here. They look pretty uh, pretty poor quality welds, but trust me they have penetrated there's uh, there's mark there were marks on the inside of the floor to show the good good penetration there and it is absolutely rock solid oh you can't move anything now previously when I squeezed these together the floor moved can't squeeze these together now the only thing that's moving is the actual bending of the rear half of the diff mounting I've also put a brace across here, the dimensions of which are on Z Roadster. It's welded along the curve, seam welded along the top, and effectively got three good quality tack welds, top and, uh, top and bottom, and at the front of the diff mounting. So hopefully that is that is the job done. I'm just going to quickly move and show you the inside of the floor. I can't stop the video, otherwise I would have to do some editing. So you just have to bear with me for a second. And here we go. Here's the inside of the floor. So you may be able to if I just adjust the light for a second. There you go. So I've seam welded along here in various places. Um, the spot welds were in a ring around here. If you can just see those shadows there, they are the penetrations from the welds underneath. And there's a weld there that I wasn't able to grind off because my grinder can't get in that gap. I'd have to buy a Dremel to do that, and I can't be bothered buying a Dremel. So I've ground, ground the uh, the welds off. The the roughness is a sealant that I've put over the top. I'm just waiting for that to dry, and then finally I'll prime it again. I primed it before I put the sealant on, and now I'm priming it. Sealant on, then priming it again. Um, the red underneath is red oxide, and that will finally that will be undercoated, under sealed. Sorry. Okay, hopefully that's the job done. Oh, one final thing. I damaged the cables that were going through this hole for the um, the anti-lock brakes and various other things. So I've got a bit of a bit of cable remaking to do. Probably gonna have to put little little short extensions in there. Oh, they're too tight. Apart from that, not a bad job, I think.